As 2011 draws to a close, we want to thank all of our Your Rights at Work members for their continued support during another big year. Your Rights at Work is a network of more than 130,000 activists committed to campaigning for a better life for Australian workers. Without your help, the many campaigns we run on behalf of the working men and women of Australia and their families would not be as successful or as powerful as they are. One of the most important things Australian unions do each year is seek a pay rise for the 1.4 million Australians on minimum wages. And for the last six years we didn't get uh, a proper increase in our salary. And everyone here in this room know how much the life increase. Petrol, kids going to school, medicine for us, and everything go, go up. And we struggle to survive in this greater country. In 2011, we had the campaign slogan of Don't Leave Us Behind and successfully gained a pay rise of 3.4%, lifting the minimum wage to $15 an hour. Minimum wage workers actually get that money uh, and they go and spend it in the supermarket and uh, that'll be a good thing for the economy. Climate change was the big issue of 2011 and Australian unions back to price on pollution is the right thing to do in the face of one of the most pressing economic, environmental and social challenges for generations. Unions successfully lobbied to ensure household assistance, support for jobs and communities and industry policy were part of the final package. We also took part in the Say Yes rallies attended by tens of thousands of Australians around the country. Another big focus for 2011 was the Pay Up campaign for pay equity for workers in the social and community services sector. Now this is a landmark case for equal pay for women and will result in significant improvements in pay for workers in this female dominated sector. The campaign has been marked by mass rallies around the nation and who will ever forget the now famous flash mob dance. The big industrial relations story of 2011, however, was, of course, the Qantas dispute, which came to a head on the 29th of October with Qantas CEO Alan Joyce's reckless and damaging grounding of the airline's entire fleet. And it really brings into question whether Qantas is truly an Australian airline. And once again, the Rights at Work community rallied in support of Qantas workers who are seeking respect and job security with more than 2,500 of you emailing messages of support in just a couple of days. Whether it's standing up for workers in Fiji against their undemocratic government, which has stripped away human rights, or supporting low paid workers on the picket line at Bayada Poultry in Melbourne, we know we can always count on our Rights at Work network. Looking ahead into 2012, our new Secure Jobs Better Future campaign will be the focus of much of our activity. We'll be calling on you to support this campaign and take action from time to time, including during the inquiry into insecure work. You can join the campaign today at securejobs.org.au. Once again, thanks for your support in 2011 and let's all work together again in 2012 because your rights at work they're worth fighting for.